I'm Dr. Ron Daniels, president of the Institute of the Black World 21st Century. By now, I hope you've heard about or seen the various promos that we've been putting out from IBW on a very special event on October 15th. It is entitled A Tribute to Don Rojas, a True Revolutionary. So now I'm just, you know, adding a, a, my voice to um, this tremendous event in hopes that you will show up and show out, as we say, in order to support this event. Don Rojas is a true revolutionary. He was the press secretary for, Don, for Prime Minister Maurice Bishop and the People's Revolutionary Government of Grenada and much more than that. Uh, he's a servant leader. He's someone who is not a, about, you know, the cameras and all those kind of things, a very humble brother, very dedicated brother. Uh, who not only served in that capacity, risked his life, he was almost killed, you know, in, 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 in service to the Grenada Revolution, but for the fact that he was alerting people about what was going on 40 years ago when the revolution imploded, and you can read about that and learn about it, he would have been killed. But he was on duty, he was on mission to spread the word that the Grenada Revolution was being usurped and warning about the prospects of the US invasion that took place. Don Rojas, has, Don Rojas has committed his life, devoted his life along with his lovely wife, Karen, his wife and partner, to serving the interest of humankind for black liberation, if you, if you will, but also uh, human liberation. We're delighted that he has served for a number of years now, more than, I'm so glad, so many years, as the Director of Communications and International Relations for the Institute of the Black World 21st Century. Did a marvelous job. He is a communications genius. And one of the things that we're working on now is his legacy project, which is called the Black World Media Network. We know over the years that he served not only as the press secretary for Maurice Bishop, he was, um, he, he also served as general manager of WBAI. Uh, he served as the editor of the Amsterdam News, Free Speech Television. It goes on and on and on and on. He's used his intellect, his, 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 his knack for communications to serve the interests of humankind, black liberation and human liberation. Now Don is, he's, he doesn't mind tell, telling people he's, he's ill. He has multiple myeloma, which is a very severe and dangerous bone cancer. Actually, you know, we didn't know Don would be here this long, but we prayed him, we have literally prayed him through. In 2019 at the House of the Lord Church, where we, where we will be holding this event on October 15th, you know, Don came and we held him up in prayer and in his concluding remarks, Don simply said, I am praying to God and the ancestors to just give me 10 more years. He didn't say 10 more years to hang out in the country club or in the islands or whatever. He said 10 more years to serve the people, to continue to serve the people. And we have prayed him away from death's door and he has continued to serve the people. So now he is uh, about to return to his beloved Grenada. We have cleared the way or the, way, the path has been cleared for him to, to do that. You may have seen some of the delegations we took in the current regime of Prime Minister uh, Deacon Mitchell. There's a whole new resurgence and appreciation for the revolution that was aborted 40 years ago and a climate where that allows Don to go and return with his lovely wife and partner, uh, Karen. So on October 15th, it's his 75th birthday. And we wanna raise 75 to $100,000 for his legacy project, the Black World Media Network. Go to the website, ibw21.org and put in Black World Media Network. 24 seven positive music infused with podcasts, messages, commentary. It is an incredible platform. This is his legacy project. We don't really have a budget for it, actually. I'm trying to keep it alive because it will keep Don alive, but it will also keep IBW alive. It is an amazing platform. 
So what we're asking you to do, and Don has issued an appeal, you can you can go on our website, ibw21.org, you can see that. You've, we've talked about his resume, his background, you've got to save the date. We've got all of those things hanging out there. Danny Glover is the honorary chairman. Professor Sir Hillary Beckles, the leader, the global leader of the reparations movement, the, 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 the brains, the, the architect, really, in some respects, of the global reparations movement. He's vice chancellor, which means president of the University of the West Indies. He will deliver the keynote address. So there'll be many, many other speakers that you are familiar with. Uh, Adi Amy uh, Bandelli, Milton Alamadi with the, um, the Black Star News, Dr. Claire Nelson, uh, the Institute of uh, uh, Caribbean Studies, Dr. Terry Marshall with the uh, uh, Maurice Bishop Memorial Foundation in Grenada. Charles Barron and his family will be involved, Herb Boyd, and on and on and on it will go in terms of people who are going to be saluting Don Rojas. We've also had people step up big time. I was, I stepped up, I put $1,000 on the table because I don't want to go or ask you to go where I'm not willing to go. Not everybody can do that. We understand that. But we may just imagine if we find 75 people at $1,000, we, we've achieved our goals. Well, our president general, Dr. Julius Garvey, stepped up, $1,000. Haki Matabuti, Dr. Haki Matabuti, Third World Press and much more, $1,000. Rick Adams, the chair of the board of IBW, similarly. Brother Shagun Shibaka of NACO here in New York, uh, the National Association of Kawaito Organizations, $1,000. Milton Automati, $1,000. Sister Estella Vesquez said, I can't make a thousand, but I'm down for, and she's from the 1199 SEIU, I'm down for 500. Now we're willing to accept whatever, and Don will appreciate whatever people are able to donate. But you know, if you can do a thousand dollars, do a thousand dollars. If you can do 500, do 500. If you can do 250, do 250. If you can do 75 for 75 for a 75th birthday, do that. The main thing is we just want to show our appreciation for this great revolutionary, Don Rojas, who's devoted his life to, in fact, working for humankind. Again, Black liberation and human liberation. So the particulars are, it's, in, it's, a, it's an in-person event. And if you are in the greater New York area, we want you to pack. We want you to pack the house of the Lord. Uh, church, 415 Atlantic Avenue. I'm going to repeat that in a minute. We don't want there to be a, we want people hanging off the rafters at the House of the Lord Church. So the particulars are uh, a tribute to Don Rojas, a true revolutionary, Tuesday, October 15th, 7 o'clock p.m. sharp. It'll be virtual and in person. And if you're out of the city, don't come, don't come, come send the money, the money that you would have spent on travel, use that to support uh, this event. We're, we're honored that it, is, we host, it will be hosted by Reverend Dr. Herbert Daugherty, legendary human rights, civil rights leader, and his wife, Dr. Reverend Dr. Karen Daugherty, the, the uh, executive pastor now at the House of the Lord Church, 415 Atlantic Avenue in the People's Republic of Brooklyn. And again, uh, Danny Glover is the honorary chair. Professor Beckles will deliver the keynote address. October 15th, Don's 75th birthday at 7 o'clock a.m. p.m., I'm sorry, sharp, Eastern Standard Time, USA. I say that because people are going to be tuning in from all over. It'll be in person and virtual. So you can actually go and donate right now. People have already done that. People are, You can see the amount that people are, are doing. So you can donate right, the button that's attached to this message. You can donate today. So attend or, or donate today and attend or attend and donate. We don't care how it goes down, but you should be about doing it. Give Don Rojas this beautiful, strong, courageous, humble servant his flowers while he lives. And one of the ways to do that is by supporting this extraordinary legacy project, the Black World Media Network. Go on the website, ibw21.org and listen to it. It is bad. It's a tremendous tremendous uh, multimedia platform that you'll be proud of and he'll be proud of. So we want to see him ride off into the sunset 
to his lovely Grenada. And he's going to stay busy now. He is not going to continue. He's not giving up. You know he's going to con continue to contribute but with his lovely wife, Karen, with their family there in Grenada to, in fact, finish out his work, his legacy, the years he asked for that the Lord has indeed bestowed and will continue to bestow. And we'll do it with grace and dignity because you were committed to Don Rojas as we should be for our revolutionary sisters and brothers. So we thank you for listening to this message. Again, go to IBW21.org and you will get all the information on the Black World Media Network, but you can press the button on this message to make a donate to, donation today, or if you don't have it today, make it on October 25th or any time before then and even thereafter. We want to achieve this goal and this objective. In the words of the Grenada Revolution, the People's, uh, the, the People's Revolutionary Government of Grenada and the Grenada Revolution, we say, in honor of Don Rojas, forward ever, forward ever, forward ever, backward never. Asante Sana. <laughs>